Despite the fact that eunuchs were a prominent feature of ancient Greece and played key positions in society, the details of their sexual lives are relatively opaque due to the limitations of available sources and cultural conventions at the time. However, we can try to understand how eunuchs in ancient Greece may have navigated their sexuality based on historical records and academic analysis. So stay tuned so you don't miss out on this ancient Greek eunuch secret. First, it's critical to clarify what an ancient Greek eunuch was. A male who had been castrated and had his testicles removed, either on purpose or by mistake, was known as a eunuch. Eunuchs were frequently employed in high-ranking positions in ancient Greece, including those of court officials, religious leaders, and even guards. Because they lacked the aggressive and sexually motivated characteristics of uncastrated men, eunuchs were regarded as trustworthy and obedient. The fact that eunuchs were thought to be sexually non-threatening creatures did not, however, imply that they were fully celibate or had no sexual impulses. Ancient Greek literature and art frequently portrayed eunuchs as effeminate, which may have implied that they had the capacity to engage in same-sex relationships or that others would have coveted them as sexual partners. In fact, some sources suggest that eunuchs were sought after by both men and women for sexual purposes. The Greek historian Plutarch, for example, wrote that eunuchs were often employed as prostitutes and courtesans, and that they were especially popular among women who wished to avoid pregnancy. Additionally, some scholars argue that eunuchs may have been involved in the practice of pederasty, which was a culturally accepted relationship between an older man and a younger, male lover. However, it is important to note that not all eunuchs in ancient Greece may have engaged in sexual activity. Eunuchs who held positions of power or who were employed in religious contexts were expected to maintain a level of celibacy, as a sign of the devotion to their duties. Additionally, the idea of eunuchs as non-sexual beings may have also discouraged some from engaging in sexual activity. In conclusion, the sex lives of eunuchs in ancient Greece are complex and somewhat obscure. While some eunuchs may have engaged in sexual activity, others may have abstained due to cultural expectations or personal beliefs.